Hi everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing Lesson 5.2 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 5.2 is about factors and divisibility. So, we are learning about factors, and today's lesson is finding out if a certain factor, if a certain number is a factor of another number. So here, let me just go ahead and read the problem. It says, students in Carla's art class painted 32 square tiles for a mosaic. They will arrange the tiles to make a rect rectangle. Can the rectangle have 32 tiles arranged into three equal rows without gaps or overlaps? So in other words, can we take 32 tiles and make three full equal rows? One way to do that is just draw a model. So start with three rows, and we're going to count by threes until we get to 32. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, and then we'd only have 32, so we couldn't do all three of those. We'd have to only do two of those ones in that last row. So no, it cannot have three full equal rows because there's one spot right there that isn't going to be used. So a rectangle cannot, nope, it cannot have 32 tiles arranged into three equal rows. So that's one way to do it. Get out a piece of paper and draw a model. Or the easier way is use division. So you would just do 32 divided by 3. And if there's no remainder, then your answer is yes. If there's a remainder, then no, you can't do it. So 3 fits into 3 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Bring down our 2 and start over. 3 cannot fit into 2, so I put a 0 here. 0 times 3 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. There's nothing else to bring down, so that 2 is my remainder. So since I have 10 remainder 2, that means it cannot be in 3 equal rows. So down here it says the unknown factor in 3 times blank equals 32 is not a whole number. It's not a whole number. We have a remainder. So a rectangle cannot have 32 tiles arranged in 3 rows. So that's two different ways to find out if a number is a factor of another number. So we have a couple little helps for us. They're called divisibility rules to help us know if a number is a factor of another number. Let me see if I can get us to the next page here. Doo -doo -doo. I don't know if it's going to move or not. Oh, I don't I don't think it is. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So we have some divisibility rules to help us um, with this when we are trying to find out if a number is a factor of a different product. So here they are here in the chart. And it says if it's asking you is 2 a factor of a certain number? Well, if the number is even, then yes, 2 is a factor. And then if they give you a number and they're asking if 3 is a factor of it, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then 3 is a factor. For instance, say they gave you the number 81, and they say is 3 a factor of 81? Well, the sum of the digits means 8 plus 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. If that number is divisible by 3, then 3 is a factor. 9 is divisible by 3, so 3 would be a factor of 81. Then, if they're asking if 5 is a factor of a certain number, 
If the last digit ends in a 0 or a 5, then the answer is yes. For instance, 75 ends in a 5, so 5 would be a factor of it. And 70 ends in a 0, so 5 would be a factor of that. But say, for instance, we had 71, it ends in a 1. That's not a 0 or a 5, so 5 would not be a factor of 71. And then the next rule is if they're asking if 6 is a factor of something, if the number is even and divisible by 3, then the answer would be yes. So, for example, if we have the number, hmm, let me try to come up with something. Shoot. How about, how about, let's try 42. This number's even. And it's divisible by 3 because 4 plus 2 is 6, and 6 is divisible by 3. So that means, yes, 6 is a factor of it. And then 9, if they're asking if 9 is a factor of something, here's the rule. The sum of the digits is divisible by 9. So, for example, if they had 72, the sum of the digits, so 7 plus 2 is 9, and 9 is divisible by 9, so 9 is a factor of 72. So remembering these rules would be very helpful when you're asked if a number is a factor of another number. Okay, so this is factors and divisibility. If you're in my class, write down the password coffee in your planner. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Thank you.